Well, ho, hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the viability of using notch heads or primers. We'll be getting into that coming right up. Alright, well, what I did to get the match heads on the ones where I just used the tip of the Strike Anywhere matches, I just took a pair of wire cutters and just put it right across the tip of that match like that. And there you go. And that's what it'll look like. It uh, comes off pretty easy. In fact, it, it almost like knows to break right there at that tip. So we just do a couple of those. And when you do that, don't throw these matches away. Okay? They can still be used as a strike on the box match. So take it and put that in with your strike on the box matches. Now the ones where I used the tip and the rest of the chemical on there I just took and kind of smashed it with a pair of needle nose pliers gave it a quarter turn smashed it again and do that a couple of times and then just kind of rub it on there and it usually flakes all that off and if you get a little bit of wood down in there don't worry about it you can peck it out later as you can see, I got a little sliver of wood down in there, and I took it out. Then when you're grinding this up, don't grind it up like this, because if it flares up, it's going to come up and hit your hand. Turn it on its side, and grind it like this. Try to get it to where you can see what I'm doing in here. Anyway, just keep grinding and grinding until you get it into a powder. And only do about all six or seven matches at a time. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Myself, I just do about six or seven of them at a time. And then once you get that ground into a good powder, what I do is I take and I dump it out on this piece of paper get yourself a square piece of paper and then do some corner folds like that dump it out on there and then what I do is I pour it into a little tube that way if you do have a flare-up in your uh, pestle and mortar um, you don't lose all your product that you've worked hard to uh, grind up and stuff and then uh, once you put it in there then you can go ahead and get yourself another you know six or so match heads whatever you feel comfortable with anyway let's put that aside and let me show you what I did okay I got the seven caps here which are the full match head that's the uh, well, tip and the whole thing then I got seven more over here that I just did with the uh, the tips of the matches and then I realized that if you hit these things hard enough that powder is gonna pretty much fall out um, now I've seen a couple of people using hairspray which is an excellent idea I don't have any I have it on my order list so when I can I'll order that but what I did was I took my little star hole punch and uh, these things are so tiny I cut those out of cigarette rolling paper so it's a really thin paper and what I did was I stuck it down inside the cap to kind of hold that powder in there and then I also took a uh, a couple drops of uh, yeah, fingernail polish remover, dropped it in there, let it soak into that powder a little bit, and then I took a matchstick, and I kind of like 
forced it down in there with those little stars on it. So hopefully they'll stay in there. We'll find out when we get outside. And uh, hopefully these ones I think will work pretty good. These ones here with the hole match, I'm not sure. And the way I can tell them apart, these ones are all green on the outside. I think I might have one green one on the outside over here, but the rest are other colors. I wanted to kind of do something to distinguish them apart so when we go out and fire these. So let's get outside and see how these do. Now, I will tell you that I was going to try match heads plus the uh, phosphorus off these matchbook covers. I don't know if you've ever tried it. That's the hardest thing there is to get off of there, and there is so little of it. I sat there and scraped on, was it this one? Let's see. This one I scraped on quite a bit. Oh, right here, you can see it's all shiny right there where I scraped it. I scraped that and scraped that with a razor blade. And I came up with enough to put it on a pin head. So I'm not going to be doing that one. I don't think it's that viable. I don't think it'll come to where you have to make your percussion caps out of that. Okay. We've already seen that the caps for cap guns work really good. And of course the Primal worked good. I didn't like the way it left a lot of residue on my pistol though. And it was kind of a brownish, ugly residue and a lot of it. So I think the, the caps, the uh, paper caps, two of those star shaped in these are going to be my go-to. But anyway, let's get outside, try these out, see how they compare. Uh, we'll be uh, doing it in the uh, Derringer. Takes less powder and um, it's cheaper to shoot. So let's get outside and check it out. Well, hopefully the wind's not going to be too bad now. I did pick up one of those muffs for my microphone, the dead cap they call it. Okay, we're going to use the Derringer and what we're going to do is the first two shots I'm going to use I'm not going to prime it or anything. I mean, I'm not going to put any powder or ball in it. We're just going to try shooting the caps and see if the caps detonate. The first one I'll do will be the one with the whole match head, the tip and the rest of the chemical agent on there. Okay, and these are the homemade percussion caps. Put that on there. If I can get my big fingers in there to put this on the nipple. There we go. Push it down on there a little bit. Now I'm going to do this close up just so you can see the muzzle and everything to see if this fires. Okay, this is the one with just the whole matches. I don't know if you heard that but it just made like a sizzling sound like uh, a match burning. Now that doesn't mean it's not gonna work, so. Okay, now let's try one of the ones with just the tips of the matches. Okay, now this is one of the ones made with just the tips of the Strike Anywhere matches. Uh, if I can get it on there, there we go. All right, let's see how this one does. It sounded about the same. All right, well, let's go ahead. I'll uh, get some powder and a ball and Make sure, huh? <laughs> Looks like I might have to clean the nipple. Looks like there might be a piece of paper or something stuck in there. 
and I did pick up the uh, 310 uh, balls so it's a little bit easier to sit into the oops no oh, it's recording a little bit easier to see in here all right well we got our pre-measured powder now this time there I will be using a full charge this is 10 uh, 10 grain and they recommend <coughs> between 5 and 10 in the Derringer like I said this ball kind of bit smaller than what I had been using so it should go down in there a lot easier and I do have a ball starter on the way so I won't have to use the hammer anymore and Okay, we got the powder and the ball in there. What we're going to do is we're going to try one of the ones where we use just the tip of the match heads. Sure is awful hard getting the caps on these on this little pistol here. All right. Well, you can see that's, I hope you can see that. The green color, that's the one. We used the green ones for the ones with just the tips of the matches. All right, let's give this a try. Cross your fingers. Oh. Looks like he got hit good, but I don't think it went off. No, it didn't go off. Let's try another one. Okay, we got another one on here. And let's see how this does. Okay, that one set it off, but if you saw, there was a delay there. Okay, and that just totally disintegrated the cap. Wow. All right, well, let me get this all out of here, get this loaded back up, and we'll try one of the ones with the whole match head. Okay, here's another one. It's, uh, utilizing the whole match head. See how this does. Okay, it worked. So we'll try another one. We'll try one more with the one that we made out of just the tips of the match. See how it goes. All right, here's one of the ones we used the whole match for. And see if it goes again. If I can get the cap on there. Well, there's got to be an easier way of getting these caps on this thing. Okay, this is one of the ones where I used the whole match head. I don't 
know if you noticed or not, but there was a delay there. Hope that delay came out in the camera so you could see. And yes, it obliterated the the cap. So they are working both ways. I, okay, we'll go ahead and load up one more and uh, give it a try here. If I had a little bit bigger hammer, this would be a lot easier. I wouldn't miss it so much. <laughs> All right. Let's see which one we shot more of. Okay, we had an equal amount in there, I think. Yeah, we had an equal amount in there. So this one, this one's just the match heads. You can tell I used, well, hopefully you can see that in there. I used Mountain Dew cans for those. The other ones I used V8. All right, give this one more try here. Well, I guess either way, they work. Um, whether you use the whole match head or just the, the tips. So I'd say go ahead and use the whole match head. No sense in letting it go to waste and you'll get more powder out of it. Anyway, go back inside, talk a little bit about this. We'll see you inside. Well, I guess you can see that both ways worked using the whole match head and just using the the tips i do think the tips are a little bit hotter when you just use the tips so i think i would probably go with that but now if you're running real low on the match heads and you need to make primers that way i would say go ahead and use the whole thing that way it stretches it out and gives you more powder to use so um, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, go down, click that bar, subscribe bar there, and while you're at it, click that little bell right there, and uh, when that pops up, uh, click all. That way you'll be notified next time we upload a video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, down in the comments, let me know if you've ever used match heads or if you've ever had to use anything else to make primers, what you used and how it worked out for you. We'd like to read your comments. And when you comment down there, it doesn't just help me because I like reading all the comments. Speaking of that, something's happened the last few comments. Some of you have commented, I don't know what it is, it comes up in my email um, to show me that you commented. But then when I go to click reply, it doesn't show that you commented underneath the video. So I... I can't comment on them so if, if you've commented and you haven't gotten a reply from me that's probably why because I try to comment or reply to everybody's comments so anyway please go down hit that subscribe hit that little bell click all and that way you'll be notified when we upload another video I hope you got something out of this please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video if you didn't give us a thumbs down and down in the comments tell me why you didn't enjoy this video We've got some more shooting videos coming up. I got some special ones coming up in the future, so stay tuned for those. Got some new items to show you. Also, somebody made a comment about a place where you can pick up that Derringer if you'd like to get one of those for yourself. I'll put a link down below, and I did check, and they do have them in stock. Um, and the person that made that comment, that's where I got mine. So, anyway. Till next time, stay prepared.